in this session let's learn some recovery concepts okay let's understand how the redo is written in a no archive log mode redo data plays a very important role in a recovery okay we know we will have multiple redo log files right in the step 1 the log writer has written the redo okay that's good now once that redo is full then it goes to the second redo log file now when this redo log file is full now it goes to the third one now when this redo log file is full what will oracle do it will go back to the first one yes it will overwrite all the data present in the first redo log file so that means we are literally losing the redo data right yes because of this when a database is in a no archive log mode this redo data will not be really of any help the only thing you can do is recover the database as of last backup if you have taken a backup a week before you can recover the database from that last week backup all the changes applied since the last backup till today will be lost okay now let's see how the same thing happens in a archive log mode okay in step 1 the log writer writes the redo data into the redo log file 1 now when the redo log file 1 is full the log writer moves to the second redo log file and starts writing while the log writer is writing into the second redo log file there is another process called archiver process which takes the data from the first redo log file and copies into a archive file that means a copy of this redo file is maintained in the archive okay and now as the second redo log file is full the log writer moves to the third file and again here the archival process is making a copy of the second redo file into the archive location that means every redo file is archived that's good right that means you are backing up all the redo log files in case we have to recover the database we can use this archived copies to recover the database example you have taken a backup 7 days before and today the database has crashed so what you can do since the database is running on a archive log mode you can take the backup which was taken 7 days before and then apply all the changes recorded in the archive log files so that your database can be current cool right yes by maintaining the archival copies of the redo files you can recover the database to the most current state okay that's the beauty of running a database in a archive log mode okay if you want let's see with an example here at 10 am we have two rows in a customer table okay and at 10 am we have taken a backup copy and various changes are being applied to the redo log files okay the log writer in the meanwhile is writing to the redo log files at 10:20 am we have inserted a record with customer id 3 and peter and then at 10:30 am we have inserted another record 4 with name chris and at 11 am we have deleted the customer id 3 and peter you see the data is not here and then at 12 am we have inserted another record for customer id 5 and jeff like this various operations were performed on the database and at 12 am the database crashed now as a dba you are thinking is the database running in a archive log mode or a no archive log mode okay this scenario is on a no archive log mode that means there are no copies of redo log files maintained so what is the alternative we can recover the database from the last backup 
when was the backup taken it was taken at 10 am so we can take this backup copy and restore it at 12 am even though we restored the database at 12 am we have only two rows in our customer table all the changes which were made during 10 am to 12 am are lost okay this is the problem with no archive log mode now let's see the same scenario with the archive log mode okay the same changes happened between 10 am to 12 am and as the log writer is writing into the redo log files and moving to the next redo log files the archiver process is making a copy in the archive location you see here we have a archive copy here we have a archive copy here we have a archive copy okay and at 12 am the same thing happened the database crashed okay here we have inserted the record 3 and peter which is stored in the archival copy the customer id 4 and chris is stored in this archival copy and the data regarding the deletion of customer id 3 and peter is stored in this archival copy and then at 12 am the insert of customer id 5 and jeff is stored in the redo log files still the database didn't make a copy into the archival still the data is sitting in the redo log files so what can you do as a dba since the database is running in a archive log mode you need not worry so what will you do you take the backup copy when you take the backup copy you have only two rows you take that backup copy and then apply this archival copy this archival copy this archival copy and this redo log file that's it your data will be current as it was before the crash yes this is purely possible because the database is running in a archive log mode okay if necessary revisit this video and understand how data is recorded only if you understand this you will be able to perform a proper recovery of the database okay